What's going on? This is Connor Wilson from LaxAllStars.com, and now that we've got our five Tawartan finalists finally announced, let's talk about them a little bit and see who we've got uh, kind of as our top dog, who we think uh, has the best chance of winning it. Talk about each of the players a little bit. I got on my Rhino hat in honor of uh, Mike Powell, uh, who works there, the only two-time Tawartan winner. So... Uh, should be a good one. We got five great candidates. Uh, start out with Marcus Holman from UNC. Uh, ACC best, 74 points. Not bad. Uh, you became UNC's all-time leading scorer in the process. Also not bad. Almost five points per game, fourth nationally. This is just from his bio. Uh, he's a Baltimore native, ACC Offensive Player of the Year, first team All-ACC, ACC Tournament, most outstanding player. Quite a resume. Uh, if UNC goes far, I mean, and if they win it, He's got to be a lock to win this award, and as we know, a lot of the a lot of the award goes, you know, with with how your team does. Uh, not always the case, you know. Doug Shanahan won it in year one as a do-it-all midfielder for Hofstra, so you know it's not always the national championship winner. But if you are a difference maker, which Holman certainly is, it certainly gives you a good shot. Uh, next guy, really cut from the same cloth in terms of doing a lot for his team and leading the way. Jojo Morasco up at Syracuse, um, biggest midfielder of the year. Let's run through this. <clears throat> Unanimous first team all Big East selection, 53 points, 35 assists during the regular season. Uh, the last part broke Paul Gates' record as midfielder. Not bad. Uh, Yorktown native and Cuse get the top seed in the tournament. Again, you know, if they run through it and really take some games, uh, Marasco's got as good a shot as anybody. Uh, if you've watched him play this year, I mean, Holman. Is just scoring goals and finishing, and you know he's, he's very impressive within their system. Uh, Marasco kind of is their system to a certain extent up at Cuse, so you know he plays a really big part for that team, and you know he's a vital cog in any success that they've seen this year and that they see in the tournament. So you know if uh, if Cuse does well, I can't think of a much more deserving guy than Jojo Marasco. Uh, Rob Pinnell. I mean, what do we even need to say? You know, I mean, he's killing it. Over five points a game, uh, almost three points a game. He's out of Smithtown, Ivy League Player of the Year, first team All-Ivy, uh, third leading scorer in Division One men's history with 332 points. Also holds the Cornell and Ivy all-time scoring records. I mean, that's a crazy resume, okay? That's a crazy resume. Again, Cornell, you know, Pinnell is the kind of guy who could probably win this award with two outstanding games. Uh, they could probably lose in the second round, and he's still in the conversation, even if they even if they don't make it that far. Uh, they have a huge game with Maryland though in the first round, and you know unless they win that game, I think it's kind of hard to give it to him, uh, even though what he's done is, has been so impressive. Um, you know, so again, is this a constant kind of key? How well is your team doing? Does that give you a better shot? It certainly does. Uh, with a guy like Pinnell, though, I mean, looking at where Cornell was last year and where they ended up this year, you know, if they do okay, I think he's still in the running no matter what. So, you know, I, I think he's probably your favorite. Uh, a guy like Tommy Schreiber from Princeton, again, you know, a fantastic player. I mean, what more do you want from a guy, right? He's led the team in scoring three years in a row. Uh, had 32 assists, 60 points. He's at East Met in New York, uh, all Ivy. Okay, uh, at least three points in every game this year. Wow, I, I didn't even know that, okay? But that's nuts. Four points a game, fantastic as a midfielder. I mean, he's as dangerous as they get. He's as good as they get. You know, he's probably the best midfielder um, that the Ivy's seen maybe ever. It's possible. I mean, that, that's a big statement. There have been a lot of great players. But I don't know that anybody is, is really better than Schreiber. Uh, he's a fantastic player. Now, do I think he's going to win the award? No, not a chance. Um, unfortunately, you know, Princeton didn't make the NCAAs, and you know, you, you got to go deep, I think, to win this. Again, not always. You know, Shanahan is a, is a good example. But, uh, you know, I, I just don't think the Travers really, really, truly in the running, especially if one of the three teams that I already mentioned, or Albany, does well. Uh, Lyle Thompson. I mean, most points in the country, 108. That's crazy. 62 assists. That's two more points than Triver had. That's crazy. Uh, you know, he was the America East Player of the Year, first team All-America East, America East Tournament Most Outstanding Player, which is similar to what Holman did, although the America East is not the ACC. Maybe you got to give the edge to Holman on that. But Thompson's scoring, uh, I mean, absolutely crazy. 
Um, you know, and he's third in NCAA scoring for a single year for Division One ever. Uh, Steve Merrill had 914 points, I think, in uh, 1992. So, uh, you know, he's six points away from that. If he becomes the all-time leading scorer, Albany wins one game, uh, and then they're competitive in their second. I think, like Pinnell, he's a guy that you kind of want to look to, um, you know, especially if Syracuse or UNC doesn't do as well. Um, so if, if Cuse or UNC really go deep, if they win it all, if they make the finals, even the final four, I think that both of those guys are going to be strong contenders. If Cornell does well in one game and you know is competitive in their second game, same thing with Albany, I think that both of those guys have a decent shot. Um, unfortunately, I don't think Schreiber has much of a shot. So it really comes down to Holman, Marasco, Pinnell, and Lyle Thompson. And the question for me is, do I think any of these teams are going to take the title? Oh, that's a good question. I mean, I've got UNC one right now, so I certainly think that they've got a good chance. Uh, I like Cornell to put on a run. Uh, I like Syracuse to be able to go deep. You know, these, they're all teams with potential. Um, Albany, I'm a little nervous about their first-round matchup with Denver, who isn't. Uh, I'm a little nervous about Cornell's matchup with Maryland. Uh, but, you know, I do think that Albany has some potential – to win some games in this as well. They, they've proven that they can do that. Um, and I think that they've also gotten better over the course of the year. So remember, this is a team, you know, Syracuse has improved. Albany's improved. Albany beat Syracuse. Let's see who's improved more. Uh, I think that could be a really interesting matchup if that were to go down. Uh, but let's get to it. Who's my favorite? All right. My favorite in the world of reality, who I think has the best shot at winning it, it goes to Marcus Holman. Uh, you know, UNC, I think, is a, a dominant team this year. I think they could go on a crazy run through the tournament. They might not. You know, they could get bounced in the second round. Who knows? It's certainly possible. But I do like UNC to see some success, and I think that Holman is gonna is gonna figure into that success. Um, my kind of personal pick, who I think is gonna win it, who I think deserves to win it, who has really been for me the player of the year, who's done more for his team. You know, I'm gonna go with Lyle Thompson, um, and and it's really. The points are great, uh, all that kind of stuff. But my favorite thing about Lyle Thompson is that when he plays a game and the ball hits the ground or the other team creates a turnover, he's all over it. I, I enjoy watching him ride as an attackman more than anybody I've ever seen. And for me, a Tewarden player has to have an impact on their team. They have to make their teammates better, and he does all that. He's a star, okay, and he does that too. But he also does the dirty work, and he rides hard. To me, he's a complete lacrosse player. I enjoy watching the flair, the stick skills. So I'm personally kind of pulling for Lyle Thompson, I guess you could say. Uh, he's He would be my selection right now if I had to pick a Twarton winner. Uh, but I'd go with Marcus Holman as my favorite. And I think that Rob Pinnell and JoJo Marasco are uh, extremely dangerous. So let me know what you think. Uh, tell me if I'm way off base, if Pinnell's going to walk away with it. Uh, if Marasco is going to assist his way to a Tawarton, tell me what you think. I'm, I'm interested to hear. Convince me. Convince me that you're right and that I'm wrong. Good luck with that. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll be back uh, updating things. You know, as a Tawarton goes, uh, so goes the tournament. So we'll see how things uh, pan out a little bit. Good luck to everybody. And, uh, you know, maybe if Miles, uh, sorry, if Lau wins it, you know, he can win it again and uh, Mikey Powell won't be so lonely up at the top with two. See you next time.